I don't feel disabled on water. I get on land, I can't walk, I can't, I can't go up a hill, I need help. You put me in a boat and you put me on water, it's like therapy. I can go row and exercise and, and move myself and be independent and it really does, it's, it's really like therapy. I did five years in the Navy, I did 18 months on tour and I was on I-5 in California in the back seat sleeping of a Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. And the driver swerved left, swerved right, and then the Jeep rolled four times on the freeway and my seatbelt broke and I was ejected out of the back window. Police report said that I curled into the fetal position and bounced off my spine and broke my spine. I got 17 screws in my spine and two metal rods in my back. Um, I lived in the VA hospital for four months in Seattle, and when I w was, uh, when I left there, they said that I'm 100% disabled and I'll never walk ever again. Yeah. I tried to come home and be normal and, and still go hang out with my friends, and it took me a while to figure out that if I wanted to do things that other people were doing that were normal things, I was going to have to do them a different way. My life changed and I, I decided to change it. And so I wanted to get out of my wheelchair and I didn't want to be high maintenance anymore. I love birds choking my window, but I don't need love no more. Once I got in the boat with rowing, it felt like flying again, you know, like in the helicopter. Being from here, I spent my time swimming in, in the rivers and the lakes and I was rescue swimming in the Navy. So it kind of just fit. I don't want to be one of those disabled veterans that people look at and be like, oh, I'm going to use his, him as an, an example of why everybody needs help. There's like 226, 225, but I'm only going like 5.5 meters a stroke. Oh. Oh. It is one of the hardest sports I've ever done because there is no break. Like football, you, you do a play, you get hit, you get up, and you just you get a break. So the difficulty that I have compared to a normal rower is my boat's wider because I don't have stability. So I have more drag through the water, but I have less muscle to move the boat. I've been through a lot. And so going through rescue swimmer school helped me going through war helped me. I use a lot of the things that people get depressed about, and because I've been depressed. Right? I've been down the hole, and I worked really hard to get myself back up, and not just physically, but emotionally. I really just tell people how hard it is to get knocked down and then get back up, and then get knocked down and get back up again but how important it is. You can't function if you're still on the ground. It, this is what I do. Like this is, this is just the next thing in my life to do.